Today we play Super Mario Odyssey, but Mario explores a secret underground area that we've added to the game, and I hope you enjoy this video. What's the this? This button looks like a warp pipe. Yahoo! Mario might have expected a secret warp pipe to spawn, but he'll have to find it first. These light blue blocks appeared first, and Mario has to make his way up these blocks. And when he reaches the very top, that's where the secret green pipe is. So Mario can make his way into the new secret area now. Mario appears in this space-like area with a dreamy piranha plant and a sherm in the background that's shooting at him. Eat my copy! Yahoo! Let's -a go! Mario activates a switch with Kathy, and this platform starts rotating, but it looks like this might be difficult to cross because it's spinning against Mario instead of away from him. So Mario makes a careful jump, Cappy dive, makes it onto the rotating platform, and safely reaches the next block. Mario knocks the hat off of this tank, and he captures the newly colored tank, but once he blasts away these blocks, he sees another one of these pointy things that launches Cappy and makes these platforms start spinning. Mario takes a look at what's up ahead, and it looks like he's still got some more climbing to do. Mario activates this switch with Cappy, and the platform starts rotating this way, revealing a lot of blue Goombas and blue Goomba stacks in the distance. Mario thinks that it might be dangerous to jump straight to that because the Goombas would pile onto him all at once, so he takes a few shots at them with this Sherm, defeating a bunch of Goombas from a safe distance. Mario gets ready to get across this time, and he almost falls while making it across, but he recovers and makes it to Goomba Land. The Goombas all come towards him, surrounding Mario with blue Goomba madness, dealing damage onto Mario, and Mario hops along on top of the Goombas, taking them out bit by bit, showing that he is a master of stomping Goombas. Mario takes more damage and he's only at one health, so he starts to run. He tries to lure the Goombas to the side to have a breakaway, and after a triple jump wall jump when he thinks it's safe, Mario makes it up without losing a life. Looks like the Goombas have calmed down for now, it's a good thing that it looks like they can't climb. Next up are these jumps over here that Mario has to make, but it's even scarier than it looks, because once you step onto these platforms, they start falling, and Mario can't make a jump properly, so he backs out the first time. He tries again, making careful jumps with wall jumps, and ledge grabs whenever he can, jumping to the next one at the right moment, and eventually he makes it to the swinging pole here. Mario swings back and forth to get some speed, then after some wall jumps with Cappy, Mario safely makes it up to this section, and there's the first Power Moon reward for him. Mario hopes that he can get every Power Moon. There's still more climbing, so Mario makes his way up these nicely arranged blocks here, and it looks like Mario will have to do a slightly tricky jump to make it up these blocks without bonking and falling off. And if he makes a big mistake, there is a long drop all the way back down to where the blue Goombas are. The ledge on the left side looks a little wider than the one on the right, so Mario decides to try to land up on that part, and once he's up there, a ground pound jump with some help from Cappy lets him get up on top of this block. There's a spinning flower here that gets activated when Mario ground pounds on it, and he spins up onto this block, and he has another rotating platform to activate with Cappy. Mario waits for the right moment, runs, jumps, throws Cappy, runs along the platform as it's rotating, jumps onto the wall of the block ahead of him, and makes it on top without falling off the level. The next flower brings him up to the next power moon, and he takes the rocket to the next area. Yahoo! Yahoo! The rocket brings Mario to this section with Pikachu blocks and a lot of birds up ahead. There's a charging chuck that really wants to charge at us, but there's an invisible wall preventing him from reaching us, so Mario hits the first question mark block and gets a coin. When Mario heads to the next question mark block, he steps on the Charizard block so that unactivated the invisible wall and the charging chuck is free to charge at us now. But it looks like the charging chuck is so big that he gets stuck behind this question mark block. So Mario cautiously makes his way onto the question mark block and takes out the charging chuck. Up ahead, there are some mini Goombas on another block, but there's an invisible wall separating us. But that doesn't stop the charging chuck from ramming through everybody and pushing Mario back. Mario is at one health, but we can't reach each other because of the invisible wall between us. If we try to jump around the invisible wall, there's a death barrier that suddenly kills Mario, so we'll have to make it around another way. And the answer might surprise you, or it might be something you've seen before if you've played some Zelda games. There's actually an invisible path here where the birds are, so you have to remember where the birds are because they fly away as you get close to them, but if you have a good sense of where the birds are, you'll know where the invisible platform is and you can make your way across to the next part of the level walking on the invisible platform without falling off the level and going into the death barrier. And very luckily for Mario, even though he was only at 1 HP, the little Goombas here didn't defeat him. 
Mario bounces on the taxi car here, hops across the Charizard blocks, and it looks like there should be a chain jump here, but it must have fallen. A bonsai bill is shot out, and Mario crouches, hoping it'll pass by overhead. Up ahead, there are a bunch of spinies guarding a pipe, and that looks scary to get to, so Mario knocks the Santa hat off this Taifu and captures the Taifu with Cappy. With the Taifu, Mario can blow all the spinies off the platform, and it's safe to head to the pipe now. Is this where Mario has to go? Let's go! He goes down the pipe, and it brings him just a few steps ahead onto this grassy patch. There's obviously more to the level, so Mario wants to take a look at what is up ahead. Another large blue Goomba colony is up ahead, with Goombas up high and Goombas down low, and there's another platform in the distance. The jump to that green platform looks like it is too far from here, so Mario captures the Taifu again, and in this lovely space-like area, Mario can float across the next area inside this fluffy cloud. And it's kind of funny to see the bonsai bills pushing against you, but they can't do anything while you're in the cloud. So Mario floats over to the pipe, takes a look behind him, saying goodbye to what he has seen so far, and he goes into the pipe. Mario pops out of the pipe at Blue Goomba Tower. The first two Goomba guards are no match for Mario and the Goombas are easily defeated. Then Mario stacks up the next three Goombas, pops out of them, and flattens them into a Goomba pancake with a ground pound. Now, there's a section with a lot of Blue Goombas and Mario captures some of these Goombas making a small Goomba stack, but that doesn't make him invincible, so he still does get hurt by the Goombas and he is down to only one HP. With a ground pound jump, we are able to jump away from the Goombas, but now we've got to be careful with that Sherm that's shooting at us because we only have one health left. We time it nicely and then we can climb up and knock the hat off and capture the Sherm. We blast these blocks away to reveal another one of these Cappy launchers and Mario ground pounds the Sherm destroying it just to be careful that it doesn't shoot at us while we have our back turned. And this here was one of the coolest jumps Mario has made in this entire video. I was so scared that we would bonk into this wall here but we just barely made it over with that dive over there. We just scraped the floor over there. From here, it is some simple wall jumps with Cappy throws to stall as we climb on up and we reach solid ground eventually. Up ahead, there are some of these flowers that make you spin when you jump on them, and this might remind you a bit of my Mario Odyssey mod where I did something similar with toads over a poisonous area. But in this level, I was wondering if we only needed the first flower. After spinning along from the first flower and using Cappy, we actually made it across without needing any of the other flowers. One more flower over here helped boost us high onto this shiny wall, and we got a Power Moon here that restored our HP. And up ahead, it is a simple triple jump along this narrow path with some help from Cappy, and Mario easily makes it up to the Power Moon, and Mario goes down the pipe to collect his reward. Yahoo! Let's -a go! Mario is a number one. I really recommend my video where I added custom Goombas with unique abilities to Super Mario Odyssey. It's got to be one of my favorite Mario Odyssey mods that I've ever made. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have an amazing day ahead of you, and take care, everybody.